What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and a biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And this video will be taking you guys through all of my top tier tips on how I wrote my 20,000 word dissertation in my biomedical science degree in three weeks exactly. However, if you want a more detailed explanation on how I write my essays, then I highly recommend you check out this video on my channel that went absolutely viral. I also have a complete online course that takes you through the entire essay writing process right from the beginning all the way up until the end to make sure you get a first class essay. And finally, you can also check out a copy of the actual dissertation that I wrote. All of these things will be linked down below in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first tip I recommend you guys to do is to start as early as you possibly can and as soon as you get the essay title or the dissertation title that you'll be writing. So to take you guys back to my biomedical science degree, um, I actually got my dissertation title back in December. And although in December we hadn't actually, you know, started collecting data and by being in the labs by December time I actually knew exactly what I'll be writing for my dissertation. So we finished off all our lectures, then we eventually went on Christmas break and we had about three weeks of the Christmas break. Now what I did is during that three weeks, even though we hadn't started the labs yet, even though I haven't actually met my supervisor yet, I had the title right. So that meant that I can go home and actually start doing a bit of background research on the whole entire topic. So during that three week period over Christmas, I was able to collate a bunch of really, really useful papers and topics that basically meant that when I started in January, I already had all of the kind of broad knowledge and all the very, very key papers for actually writing my dissertation. I also used that three weeks during Christmas to begin, you know, kind of structuring my um, dissertation. So thinking about what sort of headings do I want, what sort of subtitles do I want in the dissertation, also adding in a front page cover, adding in a table of contents, all these really small things that do take up time were already done during that three week period. And most importantly as well, because I was able to get all the papers together, I actually began writing my introduction for my dissertation. So when I started in the labs in January, my introduction was more or less already written. Now that saved me a huge chunk of time. A lot of my friends, a lot of my colleagues who were with me um, actually didn't start writing until January because they thought that, oh, you know, we have a Christmas break. We haven't met our supervisors yet. We haven't actually started collecting data. So what's the point of starting now? And the people who actually did that found that they were very short of time when it came to actually writing the dissertation. So my number one tip for you guys is to start as soon as you can. As soon as you get the dissertation title, start collecting collecting papers that you might need later on and start, you know, developing the backbone of your dissertation and that will save you a bunch of time. The second tip I want to give you guys is that during the whole entire process of your dissertation, you know, whether you're given two months or three months, we were personally given three months to work in the labs and collect data. But what I want to tell you guys is to try your best to write your dissertation as you're going along and also in whatever free time you have. So to explain to you guys what was going through my mind during that period of time, while I was writing my dissertation, while I was kind of in the labs collecting data, I also had medical interviews so I had you know medical school interviews coming up so I had to prepare for that that took a lot of time and was also very stressful I also was trying to enjoy my final year and see my friends and of course also still studying for my upcoming final exams so that period of time was extremely busy extremely stressful so what really saved me during that period of time and what really allowed me to complete my dissertation in the right amount of time was not waiting for the weekends to write my dissertation or waiting for the free days that I had because those free days and free time never came you know, I was always busy with something preparing for an exam or whatever that might be. So what really saved me was writing whenever I could. So to give you guys an example, when I was in the lab from, you know, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. during the whole entire day from Monday to Friday, there were periods of time during the day that I actually had maybe 20 minutes free here, maybe 30 minutes, um, you know, here and there. And it was those 20 or 30 minute breaks, you know, during my experiments in the lab where I really put in the effort and the hours to write my dissertation. What I actually found was throughout my entire working day, those 20 20 minute and 30 minute free periods added up to around an hour and a half to two hours every single day. So compared to my colleagues who would wait until the end of the day or the weekends to actually write the dissertation, I was getting in a minimum of two hours per day of extra writing. And over a one week period, that actually ended up being an extra 10 hours, 10 to 14 hours really of writing my dissertation. And even today as a medical student, that same principle still applies. When I'm in the hospital seeing patients, in between seeing patients or doing certain jobs, it might be 10 or 15 minutes or so where I'm free, maybe waiting for a patient to be seen or whatever amount of time that is. So that same principle still applies to me today and allows me to be a lot more productive with my work. At the end of the three month period that we had in the lab to collect data, we were then given three weeks officially off to actually write our dissertation. And this is what the university told us. They said, don't worry, during the three months, focus on your lab work and you will 
still have three months to write the 20,000 words. And please, please, please don't do that. Don't wait until the very end to start writing. As soon as you get the title and also during the 20 to 30 minutes you may have throughout the day scattered, make sure you're actually writing. And I don't wanna go on any further. You guys get the point. Whatever free time you have, make sure you're using it wisely to write your dissertation. The next tip that I have for you guys is to use your supervisors wisely. What you want to do is that throughout the period of writing your dissertation while you're in the labs, you wanna make sure that you're going up to your supervisor whenever you need help. So if you need help with any sorts of questions when writing, go knock on the door and ask them for help. You want to make sure that they're actually reviewing your work throughout the entire time and not just at the end. What often stops people from going to the supervisors to ask for help and actually showing the supervisor their work is that they're scared and they think that the supervisor won't like their work or will think they're stupid because their work is not yet perfect. And it's not supposed to be perfect, you know, while you're writing your dissertation. That's a period of time where you can really get some good feedback from your supervisor. They can slightly tweak your work and making sure that you're going in the right direction. Because if you don't ask your supervisor a question, you will go in the complete opposite direction over a period of time. But if you can make sure that you can get that error back into the right direction, you will go directly in the right direction that you're supposed to be going to. Obviously, it does depend on your supervisor and the relationship that you have with them. But I personally gave my work to my supervisor to review at the end of every single section and also at the very end. So what I mean by that is that after I wrote the introduction, I sent it to my supervisor. After I wrote the methods and materials, send that straight away. And after I wrote the main body and then finally the conclusion, again, I send that straight back to him. And then finally, when all of the sections were written, I then went and sent the final draft to him for review. So this really is a valuable period of time where you can get some good feedback from your supervisor. So don't worry about your work not being perfect. Don't worry about it being the most amazing piece of work ever. Get a draft together, get each section individually written and make sure you're getting as much feedback from your supervisor as possible. What I'm really trying to emphasize here is to try your best to have a very good and close relationship with your supervisor. I would actually suggest you know, possibly requesting uh, your supervisor that you meet, you know, possibly meet once or twice a week. Make sure that you're replying to all of their emails and really trying to chat with them back and forth and by email. That is literally what I did. I had a very close relationship with my supervisor and, you know, I kind of got the gist that he wanted to help me and he wasn't afraid to help me because I told him on the very first day when I came to the labs that I want a first class on the station and I'll work really, really hard to get that. So luckily for me, he had an open door policy that I could always knock on his door and ask him a question whenever I needed help. So try your best to form that relationship with your supervisor. I know it might not be uh, possible in all cases, but try your very best to make every experience you have with them worth it to get the most value out of them for your dissertation. The next tip that I have for you guys, which is super important, is to try your best to set your own deadlines. Now, as I mentioned, during this whole dissertation period of time, you will be super busy with interviews coming up, job applications maybe, uh, preparing for the exams, you'll be super busy and your hands will be fully tied. And because of that, it is super simple to lose track of time. And before you know it, your dissertation is actually due in one week's time. And that's really what you're trying to avoid. So to give you guys an example of what I did, I actually divided my dissertation up into different sections. So I had the introduction, the materials methods, the um, kind of main body and the conclusion. And for each of those sections, I set myself a personal deadline that I had to meet. And what that meant is that if I don't meet this deadline by that certain day, then I know for a fact that I have to speed up with my writing to make sure that I'm on time. Once you have deadlines for each of these sections, what I would also suggest is to then make deadlines to when you should be sending your supervisor a draft um, for them to go ahead and review. You wanna make sure that your supervisor has enough time to review your work and also to send it back to you so that you also have enough time to make the changes on your dissertation and then complete the next sections and then obviously send them a draft again. Something super important as well that really allowed me to get a first class in my dissertation is to try my best to find first class exemplar or um, example, exemplar, exemplar, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, dissertations. Um, so my university actually had a whole catalog of first class dissertations that were just online. What I did is I downloaded each of those, you know, exemplar dissertations and I opened it up on my laptop so that whenever I had a question in my head like you know how do I write my title how do I write my front page how should I be drawing my figures out whenever I had any sort of specific question and I wanted to know how someone who got a first class would do it I would immediately refer to these exemplar dissertations
dissertations that my university gave us. Now, if unfortunately your university doesn't provide any exemplar dissertations, then what you can do is maybe email a few friends that you have in different universities, maybe try find someone on LinkedIn in a different university and ask them very nicely if you can have a look at their dissertation. Uh, or finally, you can also check out the exact uh, dissertation I wrote, uh, which is first class on my website as well. If you're really keen to get first class as well, before you even write your dissertation, you can open up one of these exemplar dissertations and really look into the detail and ask yourself, why did this person get a first class? What are the things that I personally need to do in order to achieve that first class? So again, looking at the titles, how they did the figures, how they actually wrote their entire dissertation, all of those small things are things that you kind of need to you know, copy uh, in order to make sure that you're on track for getting the best grade possible. The next tip that I have for you guys is to try your best to use software to speed things up. Now, if you're like me and you're writing a 20,000 word dissertation, you will have a bunch of like, you know, stuff to go through and stuff to do. So as an example, I had over a hundred references in my dissertation. Now, please, please don't be that person that tries to manually input your references into your dissertation. That will be an absolute nightmare. I personally use a service called Mendeley, or you can also use RefWorks, which is basically a software that allows you to automatically add references to whatever uh, sentence you're trying to reference. And that really saved me a bunch of time and made sure I had no mistakes. As well as that, what I'd also recommend you guys to use is Grammarly. So Grammarly is also another really good service that basically proofreads and checks your work for you so that you don't have to, you know, meticulously go through every single word and every single sentence to make sure that you're, uh, you have no mistakes and no, no typos basically in your dissertation. That's the next step. So to be completely honest with you guys, the one mistake that I did or the maybe 10th mistake that I did when writing my dissertation is I actually waited until the very end to review my work. Now that was a very big mistake. I didn't have much time towards the end to review my work. And what ended up happening is that I stayed awake all night until 9 a.m. and I literally submitted my dissertation with one minute to spare. The reason being is that I realized I made a bunch of mistakes in my spelling, a bunch of mistakes in my referencing as well. And these are really small mistakes that could have been avoided a long time ago. So what I really wanna to recommend to you guys is to make sure that you're double checking your work as you're going along. So literally after every single paragraph or maybe after each uh, individual section you write, make sure you are rereading what you wrote, make sure it makes sense. I would honestly recommend to reread your work a hundred times if you can. The more you reread it, the more you know accurate it's gonna be. And don't wait until the very end, do it as you're going along to make sure that you have the best work possible as soon as you possibly can. Now, the second last tip that I have for you guys is to please, please get it professionally printed. Now, as you can see, this is my dissertation here. So it's a little bit, it's a bit yellow because it's quite old, um, but it has a binder over here, as you can see, it has a back page, and this is over, I don't know, 100 pages of work that I did. Uh, it also has a clear kind of front cover as well. And a lot of my friends were wasting time trying to do this themselves, you know, trying to get the binding perfect. That takes a huge amount of time out of you and often can lead to silly mistakes. You want to make sure that the person who receives your work looks at your dissertation and thinks, wow, this is completely professionally printed. It looks great. I would honestly suggest paying the five or 10 pounds to go to a printing shop locally and ask them if they can actually print off your dissertation for you so you don't have to do this entire you know, binding process yourself. That's the second last tip. The last thing that I have for you guys is to try your best to get over your fear of writing. Now, this is the kind of final tip I want to end with. I know that 20,000 words is a huge amount of words to write. It's extremely scary. When you first start writing your dissertation, you will be nervous, you will be worried. Like, you know, 20,000 words is a lot. But my final tip to you guys is just get started. Just put paper to pen. And always what I tell you guys, and actually I spoke about this on my online course uh, of an, on essay writing. Uh, it's something I call the FBR principle. Now what the FBR principle is, is that your work when you first write it should be fast, it should be bad, and it should be wrong as well. So when you're writing your first draft of your essay, of your dissertation, make sure sure that it is fast, you have written all the words down, you get everything you want on paper, it will be bad, so it won't be your final copy, it won't be your best copy, and also it will be wrong as well. And that's completely okay. Don't be scared of that. Just make sure that you are doing something every single day, getting in the flow and the habit of writing your dissertation. Get over that initial fear, and I promise you, you will fly through your dissertation. And that's the last tip I have you guys. I wanna finish off by saying, again, if you guys need any further help with writing essays or dissertations, I have a full online course that you guys can go ahead and watch that will really help you guys write this final thing. If you guys want 
want the exact copy of the dissertation that I wrote, again, to have a first class exemplar um, that you can refer to, all of that is on my website. And finally, um, I have a bunch of YouTube videos on my channel, which I'll leave over here for you guys to check out on how to write a first class essay and hopefully it will help you guys with writing your dissertation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.